Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another tutorial for MassiveSynth.com. First, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please sign up at youtube.com forward slash ADSRToots, that's T-U-T-S. In today's video, I'm going to show you a personal tip and trick that I use all the time in my own sound design in Massive, whether I'm making a track or a sound set. It's for when you need a huge bass, and I'm talking like a huge digital sounding bass. And it's not something that's overly complicated or it's not something that you need to be a guru guru in the synth to know how to do. It's just something that I feel like goes unnoticed. So I wanted to point it out and show you what it's capable of doing. So I have a bass sound pulled up right now. I wanted to play it for you real quick. Right, so it's a huge bass. Well. What's making it sound so huge is my modulation oscillator, and more specifically, I have the filter FM or the filter frequency modulation activated through filter 1. Let me play another bass for you real quick. It's called Beatdown, and same thing. I'm using filter frequency modulation to get this sound to be huge. <laughs> So again, it's just a huge, huge bass. Now, this technique works when you need, like if you wanted a pad or whatever, this wouldn't work that well. But if you need a huge sound, it works very, very well. Or something sometimes just to get some extra character. So here's a bass that has more character because of this. So I'll play it real quick. So that's not necessarily huge, but it has some character. So let me turn off the modulation oscillator on this bass. So now it's more like a deep house uh, type sound. So what's going on in the filter FM is it is applying a frequency modulation to the filter or the frequencies that are being attenuated, cut, boosted, whatever, however you want to look at it, inside your filter. So it plays off of where you not only have your cutoff knob, but also where the filter or FM knob is in the modulation oscillator and even your pitch. So the results are sometimes kind of random but they're usually pretty cool. And I found the best way to get huge sounds is to typically modulate it with an envelope or even a macro and then mess around with the tuning a little bit to make it a, a, a tad brighter. So it's a FM style effect, but it's not true FM synthesis because it's being applied to the filter. So you need to have a filter loaded up to use it. So try it out next time or, or even on a bass preset that you made or that you purchased, whatever it may be. But if you load up a filter, be aware that you cannot load up the scream wavetable or the scream filter type because it will not be available to you, as well as the comb. You cannot apply it to the comb or scream filter types. Everything else, fair game. So let's go back to, uh, let's go down to that, that beat down uh, patch. And I'm going to play it real quick. I'm going to turn off the modulation oscillator. So I'm going to turn this down, back down to 24, negative 24. So it is a big change, and it's something that I think can really make a bass cut through the mix. So don't be afraid to use it. Don't forget that it's there. I think it's one of those tucked away features that's kind of a hidden gem inside of Massive. So that really concludes this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't checked out MassiveSynth.com, head on over there. Tons of cool things Massive-related. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.